Hey everyone, this is Any Talk News Reports back on the video, and today I want to talk about the standings. Very interesting standings all season so far. First half, almost to the you know halfway mark of 41 games. A lot of teams around 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 is Tampa Bay. I think that's the highest we got. Yep. Tampa Bay is the highest at 39, so we are very close to halfway in the season. Some teams already know they're just not going to make it. Mathematically, it's still mathematically, obviously, because, you know, they would be mathematically eliminated from the play playoffs when we have that stuff to happen and who clinched and all that stuff. Obviously, that's not going to happen yet. If it did, that would be incredible season, like really incredible season. You know, probably not humanly possible. But um, looking at, you know, where are we in this standings here? Who's going to be good? Who's going to be, you know, kind of mediocre for the rest of the season? Who's going to start heating up? You know, there were some teams this year, start of the season, who we thought will start really well, you know, make the playoffs, all that stuff, top in the, you know, the division, kind of been below the playoff line, you know, kind of just... 500 record, um, not what we want, right? So, let's talk about those teams. Where are they? Are they going to make the playoffs? Are they not? It's going to be upset, all that stuff. Starting off in the Eastern Conference, um, Boston's been solid this year. Um, they've been up there, a little rocky lately, kind of. But, you know, they have a good lead here, 23-7-6. So very good. Um, you know, it's hard to duplicate the same year you had last year of an unbelievable season, first overall. In, I mean, first overall on the, you know, the league, winning the President's Trophy. Looking at Florida, a quiet but solid season by Florida. Second in the Atlantic, with 23-12-2, 48 points. Very solid with the goal setting defense, offense, all that stuff has worked really well. Uh onto Paul Movies. He's done a really good job with the Florida Panthers. We'll see how things continue to be here for the Panthers and how well they play. But to me, the playoffs, uh, they're making the playoffs and they've been solid. And I don't see why they wouldn't be for the rest of the season. Now Toronto, they have amazing offense. They have okay defense. The goaltending has been spotty ever since Joseph Wall got injured, high, high ankle sprain. Not sure how much long he'll be out for. Sam Sarnoff, really low confidence, not doing good whatsoever. Got waived, sent to the Marlies. You have Martin Jones playing as number one. Now you have Hilby, the prospect from the Marlies up there. So a lot of things happening here for the team. And, you know... Will they make the playoffs? Most likely they will. They find a way. They will. They need to find a goalie, right? To really get themselves where they want to be. Win some more rounds and just, you know, all right, the first round you're in, but the second round you just fall apart, right? You want better than that. So they're hoping for better, and they need a goalie. Looking at the Rangers, solid season, 25-10-1. Just a really smooth season with uh, Peter Laviolette. As the head coach, really good season for him. It's great to see. Along with Carolina, but Carolina was below the playoff line starting the season. They've really heated up lately. It's good to see where we have seen them. Um, Really good now. 21-13-4. The record doesn't show a slow start, but they have been solid as of late. Good to see that. Snatched the cough is back and running. He's really, you know, it took him a little time to get back after, the, after that major Achilles, um, what was it, knee injury, something like that, um, that killed him for the rest of the season last year and most of the all season. So, seeing him back, already, you know, back to normal here. Snatched the cough, doing that. They need him as a game breaker, you know, scoring those timely goals. They will get that from Sneshikov, Aho, Jarvis, guys like that, and a lot more. So good to see that. Carolinas getting together. Goaltending has been better as of late. I'm sure they still want to see what Freddie Anderson's about, you know. But uh, solid to see there. And then you have the Islanders. They have started slow, but they have been impressive lately. Looking at 17, 10, and 10. Um, 10 overtime losses. A little concerning now. 
Um, there has been some shakiness there, um, no doubt. Um, the older team, you might call them boring, because they play more of a defensive style game. You won't see as many goals, but you have good, solid goaltending, solid defense. But the offense is there, but not as much as you will see with other teams in the playoffs. You know, they're more of a shutdown minded defensive team, which to fans might think, you know, boring style hockey. But it could win you playoff series, win you, you know, games for sure. And moving on to the wild card, Flo uh, Philadelphia has been fantastic this year. You know, no one expected Philadelphia to be here. They were in the third spot um, in the Metro. Now they're in that wild card. But they're, on they're only 19, 13, and 5. Only because Carolina has gone off to a solid start. Even, I mean, lately of a solid, um, you know, um, road trip in the, you know, a month and all that. Really solid uh, to see that. But, you know, um, Philadelphia, they've been solid this year. I would say because of the coaching. They don't have talent. They really don't. The rebuilding team. Um, you know, what we see is more of the coaching of John Tortorella, what he has done to really get this group together and to, you know, play really well. So that's why we see John Tortorella where he is. I mean John Tortorella and the Flyers where they are. Looking at the New Jersey Devils, they are 2014 and 2. They have had a slow start, kind of getting better here after being 500 for a little bit there. They are inching up. Good to see that. You also have the Capitals. They have played solid this year. Very slow start in the very, very beginning, but really been, you know, coming along here. I think it's a two game losing, or one game. Is it two game losing streak? No. I think it's one. But um, they lost all the night, but they've been pretty solid. 18, 12, and 2. Not bad. Along with the Lightning, right behind them. Um, 18, 16, and 5. But, you know, you look at that. Lightning have been okay, not the best. And you have Pittsburgh, who has been, you know, below average, below 500 record. Now they have been on a hot start here. Looking where they are at 18 14 for a lot better. You know, they lost to the Capitals, which was a tough one for them, 4 to 3. It could have been tied up. They had a bad first period. Four goals or three goals in the first like ten minutes that killed them, but they almost made it back. Almost, they almost did. Four to one was the Capitals, and they came back four three. So close to come back, tied up at least for a point, right? Detroit started really well and really had dropped off the last couple of months. So, will Detroit is will they make the playoffs? Will they not? It's looking like no. Unfortunately, it's no. At this point, it just doesn't feel like it's gonna happen. Um, it's like they need another year. I keep saying that, but another year of I don't know. It just it, there's something about them. They do really well, and then they drop off. You know, I think they need more talent, more offense. I know they have to bring it. I know they had Patrick Kane. Ever since they had Patrick Kane, they have fallen off. Not because of Patrick Kane, because Patrick Kane's like a point per game. It's just the team has fallen off. For whatever reason, it's just like, what happened, you know? So, yeah, Montreal, they're kind of holding the playoff hunt at a 500 record here. 16, 16, and 5, good to see. But, you know, they're going to make a decision here. Rebuilding takes a while, right? So, you know, it's good to see them being competitive without having a lot of the guys. You just found out Dvorak's out for the season. So, there you go, you know. New hooks out for a little bit here of high ankle sprain. Docs out for the season after playing a game in a period. You know, a lot of these offensive guys not there, and they're finding ways to do it. Defensively, offensively, goaltending, right? So good to see, despite not having some of these guys in your lineup. Buffalo has been a disappointment, for sure. Supposed to be right up there in the playoffs. Look where they are. And you have Columbus, disappointment. Ottawa, another disappointment. They've been horrible, Ottawa. You know, Ottawa just kind of have to find themselves, you know. They got the offense. It's just things have not gone well. Goaltending, defense, even the offense a little there, too. Something is off. They got to fix it. 
new GM, new president, and there's, you know, Steve Stales. So we'll see how he does. Moving on now to the Colorado Avalanche. Um, just kind of a little bit quicker here. You know, you have Colorado, very good. Winnipeg, solid season this year. Dallas, another solid season, very good. You look even at, like, Vancouver. Um, just the opposite of what they did last year, right? The 24-10-3, unbelievable season for them. Really buying in here. Rick, Rick, uh, Rick Tockett, really good to see. Yeah, Vegas doing really well. Um, LA, solid team. Nashville's doing pretty good there. Arizona, that's the second wild card spot. Solid there, but there are some teams on the doorstep on Arizona here. The first one. The Edmonton Oilers, fifteen. I mean, nineteen, fifteen, and one. The way right up there, a point below the, uh, you know, the Coyotes. Same thing with Seattle, right there. They could have a solid second half of the season. I think the Winter Classic of the shutout of Joey Decord could have helped them really find their game. They felt really good against a really good team in the Vegas Golden Knights. They won three nothing. They did really solid there. That could have given them a lot of confidence for the second half of the season. The Blues are really interesting. They go up and down. They're kind of 500 team heel. You know, they have a good, you know, you know, time and then a hot, you know, period here and then they kind of go cold. And it's really weird with them. Uh, last year, this year, maybe a little bit better than last year, I would say. But this year's kind of been, you know, they get rid of Booby as the head coach, bring Banish to us into him. I don't know that does anything. Really, I don't think so. Really, I don't think it's the coaching staff. Calgary has been okay, despite horrible first start, you know, start of the season. Kind of found themselves a little. But, you know, I think they'll sell us at the deadline. Minnesota, um, poor Minnesota. <laughs> they fire the coach. They bring a new one, John Hines. Still playing really well, you know, you know, starting to look really good there. And then, as of late, um, a lot of the key players have gone down in injury. The number one goalie, you know, and Gustafson, Kaprizov is down. Spurgeon is the top defenseman. He's down. One of the leaders, Marcus Foligno, he's gone. Right now, he's down for a little bit. So you have some people gone from this team. That's like, oh, man. You know, but they have been better under the new coach, John Hines. But, you know, it's tough not having your key players in there. Multiple key players, it feels like, right? And then you have Anaheim, who started good, but kind of fell off. Kind of what we thought they would be. You know, there you go. Chicago, rebuilding. They got Bedard. Great to see that. But they are rebuilding in the shock to what we thought they would be, right? So, you know, what teams could still make it? Looking at that list, I would say Edmonton, Seattle. Um, I would like to say the Wildwood. But really, with those injuries, we got to see what the next couple games bring them up to that half of the season. Um, but I would love to see the Wild get closer here. You know, they'll find themselves at 500 again. They were below 500 before. Good to see them at 500. You got to see above 500 now for them. Um, the Oilers are right there. They're doing better. Ever since the coaching changed, they're doing really well here. They're going to find themselves in there. I would say a wild card spot they will get. I do not think they're going to get Pacific, um, you know, division. Uh, top three spot. I just don't think so. Vancouver's been too good. Vegas is not going to let that happen. And I doubt LA is going to let that happen either. So, we'll see what happens. Seattle's going to have a tough time too. You know, maybe Arizona kind of starts to slow down. You know, it's the 82-game season. Maybe Nashville kind of slows down. Well, maybe these two teams come in. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe one of them do. We'll see what happens. Looking at that Eastern Conference again, um, Pittsburgh could be a team that comes in now, takes the spot, right? Um, maybe Washington does. Maybe Philadelphia starts to peter out. Um, that could be a possibility. Opens up another spot for a team to come in. Maybe the Devils take that third uh, spot in the division, and maybe the Flyers come out and the Penguins come in, or the Capitals do. Or maybe Detroit comes and starts playing really well again. 
or maybe the Montreal Canadiens put out some odds there. What's the odds of that happening, right? So I don't know if that's going to happen with Montreal. You know, it's, you know, would it be good for them? You know, it would be a good experience. But long term, it probably wouldn't help them out. It just wouldn't. So looking at that, we'll see what happens. Very interesting what could happen. But we'll see what happens here. And I'll see you next video. Bye.